So if you follow this channel, you know that my philosophy on carrying EDC is to fix things. I want to fix things, uh, issues that I run into during the day. I want to be able to repair things, problems that I have. I want to be able to help my family out. I want to be able to be able to do things around the house easily. I want to, if I'm at a friend's house and something is broken, I want to be able to fix it for them as well if they want me to. Um, I, if I see a stranger on the street whose car won't start, let's say their battery cable's loose, I want to be able to repair that pretty easily. So I want to carry a small set of tools that I can easily carry on my person or in a backpack or maybe even nearby in a car. But I, the smaller and the easier I can deploy it, the better it is for me. So that's where I come from on carrying EDC. So I've had a couple of viewers reach out to me and say, Phil, could you do a review of the Edge XT from Levergear? Now Levergear makes some pretty high quality EDC gear. Um, so it was kind of interesting to do a pry bar that they've issued. They actually call it a retractable blade multi-tool, but it actually looks like a small pry bar. So let me see if I can focus this up for you. Um, this is the silver one that I've used for about a month now. It um, has opened probably 50 to 60 boxes. I helped my daughter move into her new place and uh, assembled a lot of furniture with it. Um, so it's, it's been really been put through its pace. As you can see, it's kind of scratched up on the back now, but um, I've worked this thing quite a bit. I've also repaired my door. It's got a Phillips head on one side, a flat head on the other, the retractable blade here. Um, it's actually not deployed right now. I'll show you that in a bit but it does a, a number of other things as well as being a bit driver. Um, and yes, it does open bottles, which I, <laughs> I hate that, but you can use it for other things as well. But um, yeah, I, I really like this thing. And I've been a skeptic of, of these kind of tools for quite a while. I've had it in my pocket now and, and it's just, it's so easy to put out and it's really well made. So we're gonna get into that in more detail. Plus some interesting things that I found out about it that you might wanna know if you're thinking of getting one. So hopefully, You'll stick around. See you in a bit. All right, so we're going to do an unboxing, and I don't usually do unboxings, but I love the way that Leather Gear packages this, the Edge XT. Uh, I just thought it was really, really nice the way they have this thing set up. Anyway, also love their slogan, which is carry tools, not toys, which I completely agree with. And um, all right, so we're going to do the unboxing of the Edge XT retractable multi tool, blade, multi-blade, <laughs> retractable blade multi-tool. And the interior box looks like this. And this is really cool what they do here. They include a link back to a video that gives a complete details of the Edge XT, which is very nice. I went and watched it. It was very informative. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice way to have this set up. And this is the uh, black version that we're featuring here. Um, I have the silver one as well. I've been using the silver one for about a month now, and it's been uh, <laughs> it's been very robust at handling everything I've thrown at it. So I've been pretty impressed with that. So here's the black one. Uh, and let me pop this out of here real quick so you can see what's in the box. So again, they have another link here. It's the same as, as the one that's on the lid, but it's at the bottom of the box. You get a pocket clip comes with it. So it has two screws. It has the little Allen key for um, attaching it. Uh, I, and then you also get extra blades. So there's a little package of blades in here with the black clip with the uh, black edge. It comes with um, black blades. So um, I thought that was pretty neat the way they have that set up. Um, so actually, I'll, I'll extract it for you so you can take a look at it. So there is a lock here. The lock is pushed over to the side to be able to extract it. And push it up, and you can see very nice little black blade which comes with it. This is brand new sharp, never used. Um, push it back in, click the lock, and that's it. Also, little bit holder. I've used this on the silver one. This is great. It works very well. I noticed on the black one, the paint or whatever they're using makes it a little bit tight, but it loosens up very quickly after you've inserted a bit and it's magnetically held as well. So you may get a little uh, tension as you push the bit in, in, in the beginning, but it, it just wears that, that, uh, that paint out pretty, pretty quickly. So it's really not an issue. Um, and uh, that's uh, everything that's in the box. So now we're gonna get into more detail on uh, all the features.
on the edge xt. All right, so here's the edge xt, and I've got a small uh, Phillips head bit in the bit holder here. It's magnetically held, works really nicely. Um, I mean, very firmly in there. Um, I can do a, a longer bit if I want to. It works pretty great. And here's the extender. That works good too. <laughs> this is kind of cool. You can put, you know, double it up if you want to like this. And you got yourself a pretty nice screwdriver with a nice big handle on it. So that's uh, pretty impressive. And then when you want to shrink it down, there you go. Everything's about that size. It's kind of nice. I like that a lot. And so I've got some video of using this with the Phillips head on my doorknob, which locked and broke on me. And uh, it, did, it made quick work of, of taking out the two screws holding in the, uh, the latch, which was fine. And it worked, you know, no worse for wear on this at all. So the metal is, is pretty robust there. And um, on the other side, I have the flathead. This is an old um, Electrovoice microphone stand, or not stand, but a holder. So it makes quick work of that. It's, I mean, again, the handle is really nice on this. I really like how I can, it just feels very ergonomic in, in its width for, for doing these kind of tasks. So this, this works very nicely. And then there's a smaller screwdriver right at the very end here. So you could go like, you know, from this angle if you wanted to, and just turn it that way. So that, that works as well. So as far as, as the screwdrivers go on this and, and the bit extender and the, and the bit holder, it, it, it works flawlessly. All right, let's get into taking the blade out of this thing because I think everybody will want to know about that. It's very, very, very easy. So you, you release the, the lock on this by flipping that over like that and then just press this forward and flip it over. Take your Allen key that comes with it, press it into the hole here, and flick it forward. And that's going to release the blade. The blade pops right out. Very, very easy. Put it back in, reverse the process, and you just got to find that hole, which you got to be careful here when you're inserting it. And once it's inserted, press it in until it clicks, and it's locked. That's all there is to it. Flip it over, retract it. Lock it, and you're good to go. That's it. Two nice rulers on it, centimeters and inches. Um, yeah, I like it. It's a nice little gadget to have in your pocket. Lightweight, really strong. I believe it's aluminum on one side and steel on the other. Um, I had tested it with a magnet before. Let's see if I got one. Oh, here we go. So this side is definitely steel. Other side, yeah, it, it's not adhering to it, it's just you know, it's aluminum, I'm pretty sure. Um, I can probably get that out of the instruction sheet, but um, yeah. And the other issue, too, um, as I might have mentioned before, is that the blade, when you're using it excessively, like a, a lot of boxes, it's going to uh, pick up the glue the, that's probably on the tape on your on the boxes, you know, that um, that you're cutting. And when you retract it back into the edge, it's going to deposit that glue on the inside. So you might run into some, I started to notice it after I did a bunch of boxes. I did an excessive amount of boxes. But um, when I opened it up, one, two, three, four, you take the screws out with the provided hex key and um, pops right open. You can see all the, all the glue that's deposited on the inside when, it, when the blade is, is withdrawn back into the edge. So yeah. But it's, it's not a big deal to click, clean it. I, I pretty much just wiped it off with my thumb. But if you had like alcohol on a on a, a paper towel or tissue or something like that, it would be probably cleaned off very, very quickly. But um, yeah, it's I, I'm, I'm very impressed with it. It's just I've enjoyed using it. It's nice to have. It's a very fidgety thing if you're into fidgety things. But um, the only thing, again, is is the way that this mechanism works. I really feel like I want to hold it from here with my thumb depressed on the uh, retracting and you know this this push for um, pulling out the exacto, and you, you can't do that because it's going to it's going to disengage the exacto and it will. Let me see if I can do it here. 
it will just press it back in. You can see that. So try to remember to put your finger forward of that button because if you touch it and you're, you're pressing down on things, it's going to retract. Uh, it will probably won't hurt you, but it's just it's annoying as hell to be having the blade go in you every time. I, it took me a while to kind of figure out what I was doing. But yeah, it's not an issue. Just if you keep off of it, it, it it's not going to retract now. It's, it's very locked in place. So yeah, it works nicely. So I got to the end of the video and suddenly realized I hadn't shown you what these things look like with the pocket clip attached to them. So here it is. This is the black and the silver version. As you can see, they are very, very nice looking. Anyway, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, um, Lever Gear is offering a 20% off discount to my viewers. And I am not being compensated for these purchases, and they have not compensated me for doing this video either. It, they're just pretty much doing me a favor. I had some viewers who were interested in seeing what you know this thing looked like and having me do a review, so I did it. If you're interested in making that purchase, you have to go to the uh, levergear.com website, and the coupon code on checkout would be EarthlingEDC2020, all together as one word. Thanks for stopping by today. Really appreciate it. Hope to see you again in the future. Take care.